Dave, I'm Maddie. Good morning, I'm Greg, and all together now, we are live! Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. We are back with a new season of Let's Go Live, and you have been loving our first week's theme, Superhero, Superhero Science. Science. Uh, we have prepared three episodes for you, uh, all packed with fun facts and quizzes and science and epic activities for the family. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> In our last show, we designed our own superheroes and we created the ultimate fact-finding super duo uh, on the superhero circuit. I am also known as Agent Curious. And Greg here is... Captain Factbomb! Oh yeah, Captain Factbomb. We crafted our own superhero outfits. What else did we do? Sorry, I was just, I was just, no. all, all the graphics were firing at once. It got very excited. <laughs> uh, we invented some cool gadgets, yeah. of course, the flinger to help us go in search of facts. Mm -hmm. And if you missed it, not to worry, of course, like all previous episodes of Let's Go Live, they're up on the YouTube channel. Yeah, before we get into today's show, though, let's say hello to some of you in the live chat and also see what you've been up to since we saw you on Monday. So, what do we have here? Who's hello in the audience? Hello to everyone watching at Berg Hill Community Academy. Some of you are in school, some of you are at home. Hello, Berg Hill. Hello also to Grace and Amber and their friends at Heritage Park Primary School. Hello. <laughs> Fearless Flo and Arthur Overpants are watching in Aberdeen. Hello, you two. Overpants rather than underpants. Nice, we're, we're over. nice. nice. Um, and Annalise is watching with her Gramps in Bridge North. Uh, it's her Gramps' first time watching. Hello, Gramps. Hi, Gramps. Welcome. Uh, hi to Usman and Anna in East London. Hello to Lily and her dog Indy, who are watching in Wharton. Nice. Woof. Hello, Indy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Adrian in Milton Keynes and Niha in Kerala, India. In Kerala, hello. Oh, into the, oh, Kerala's beautiful. Uh, Rena and Luke in Chesterfield. Ruben in Newcastle. Been watching since the first show. Uh, to Eloise in Cheshire is watching and her super name, her superhero name is Agent Pug. Hello, Ooh. also last few. Uh, Evangeline, aka Animal Strike, Nat in Belfast, and bonjour to Sam and Connie who are watching just outside Paris. Bonjour. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, Thank we... you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hello to everyone as well who's watching back afterwards. <laughs> I've been super excited to see all of your superhero names and the outfits that you have been crafting at home. You have not disappointed us. Let's take a look at some of your photos. Uh, this is William, who is Math Bat. His superpower is to get people to love maths as much as he does. Nice. Uh, this is Mohammed, who used leftover Christmas material for his cape. Nice bit of recycling. Oscar's cuffs say SE because he is Super Elevator Man. Always going up. Uh, <laughs> or down. Occasionally Rebecca, down. Uh, Rebecca's superhero name is New Year Present Girl because she loved celebrating the New Year for 2021. That's lovely. Aaron designed his superhero Starman costume. He comes from outer space. <laughs> Here's Quinn, who made their own cuffs. They're purple, and the S stands for Super Dog. Emily is Lightning Girl, decked out in all of those lightning bolts there. Ellie, Eli, is Batman Invisible. And Rory is Captain Crafty. He used all sorts of craft materials to make his superhero outfit. Yes. We do have some videos for you as well. And this first one is from Fletcher, who is showing us his homemade superhero costume. Uh, they're little voices, so you might want to turn these videos up. Hi, Maddie and Greg. My name is Fletcher, and I made myself a superhero costume. These are my superhero gloves. And I've got wings. Wow. Does that deserve a wow? That's amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, and next up, we've got Myra. Myra is super sparkle and she can fly. Here are her cuffs that she made as well. My name is Super Sparkle Myra. And I today am going to fly around. You, you go fly. Bye. <laughs> you do that, Myra. And lastly, this is Harry who made a video for his classmates. Watch carefully because he includes not one, but two clever transitions. This is amazing. Here we go. I'm going to transform. What? One more. Go on. Yes. Way so good. Thank you very much for that, Harry. We loved that video. Nice and um, we've one, got Harry. lots more of your incredible mates coming up later on. But um, now let's get on with the show. Yeah. Today we are exploring superpowers. 
Uh, some of our favourite superheroes have powers that are just beyond belief. We sometimes even call them supernatural powers because they just wouldn't be natural or even scientifically possible here in the real world. We want to know first though, what would be your choice of superpower? Let us know in the live chat. Remember, they can be, you know, not controlled by the world of science, right? Yeah, they can be absolutely anything. As bonkers as you want them to be. Uh, I think that mine would actually be the ability to transform into any animal mm -hmm. because that way, if you wanted to swim underwater, you could just transform into a dolphin. Yeah. If you wanted to be able to fly, you could transform into an eagle. Nice. If you wanted to be invisible, you could just transform into a small little animal and nobody would know you were there. Hang on. What? Here's the thing. I've actually got superpowers. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you don't. No, I have. I, I'm, okay, all right, then you've got to convince me about this. Wait for this. Okay. Right. I can move things with my mind. Ready? Like telekinesis. See that move? No. See move? See do move? it again, do it again. You're just breathing on it. No, I'm not. Yes, you okay, are. Okay, Hold okay, your okay. breath. <gasps> Go on. What? Hang on. <sighs> Hang on a second. Okay, you're not moving that with your mind. That is wow. static electricity. That's static have electricity? You, it, How dare you? It is, if you? Have you ever got a balloon and rubbed it on your hair and sort of seen your hair sort of stick to the balloon? That's what that is. You're okay. rubbing the ruler. <laughs> yes, it was static electricity. What's happening is when I take the ruler and I rub it on my t-shirt, yeah. I'm charging the ruler up with static electricity. What's actually happening is I'm rubbing negative charges off my t-shirt onto the ruler. Then when I move the ruler next to the bit of paper, it charges up the edge of the bit of paper with an opposite charge. Opposite charges attract, yeah. which causes it to get pulled. Whoa. Oh, that was your bit. Get pulled towards it with like a force. Wow. <laughs> Wowee! You can have a go with this. All you need is a ruler, yeah, bit of paper. I've just um, folded it, a square piece, folded it in half so it's got that that, um, Point. that pointy bit in the middle. Stuck it on a pencil, and the pencil was on some blue tack. You've even, got to try well, that. Even better if you've got a big fuzzy jumper. Look, that's it. Go on, see if you can trick your family into believing you have superpowers and the ability to move things with your mind. It's working so well, Carol. Um, you know what? Static electricity uh, also builds up in clouds when water droplets and ice particles rub together. And it's static electricity in doing that that makes lightning. Can you think of any superheroes that can make lightning? How about, mm. how about this guy? Thor. Oh yeah. Thor, known as the God of Thunder, because he can tr can control electricity by summoning thunder and lightning with a hammer. Yeah, and, and, and two superheroes who really actually can move things with their mind are uh, Wonder, Wonder the Witch and Jean Grey. Wonder the Witch you might know from Avengers and Jean Grey is from uh, X-Men, but they both have the power of telekinesis, which means they can move and change things with the power of their minds. Some superheroes gain supernatural powers, mm. like Spider-Man. Oh. Spider-Man was a normal boy until, hang on, <laughs> pow, oh, until, hang on, <laughs> pow. <That's better. laughs> he got bitten by a radioactive spider and suddenly he had spidey sense. Strong, yeah. quick, can stick to walls, that can was... shoot spider web fluid, swing through New York. Sorry, I quite like Spider-Man. No, that's fine. You should have seen Greg was just getting really into that. You didn't see wow. anything, but I was, I was getting all the Spider-Man moves. Wow. Can you shoot your web fluid? <laughs> Anyway, um, um, that would be really cool. I would love to have spidey senses. Well, well, Maddie. Yeah. I've got a little Spider-Man game that I think we can all have a play with. Nice. I'm up for that. Okay. Um, do you want to see it? Yes, of course. All I need you to do is to go and open the door and uh, it's out in the corridor. So if you can just go out to the corridor. I'm all ready. Go on. I'm just, already um, nervous. Just yeah. open the door and walk out into the corridor, Maddie. Yeah, sorry. Um, can you peel yourself off? Can you peel yourself off? Hang on. Go on. It's very... Hang on. Hang on, it's very stupid. Hold on. Hold on. No. No. Oh. No. No. Crikey. Goodness. Wow. Acting. Good, good job. All right, good. So um, that is the game. You found it. It's what, called... Get Maddie stuck to the web. Well, that's, that's level one. <laughs> level two is called Sticky Spiders. 
Ah. This is something that you lot can have a play with as well if you want. So I made spider the spider web all over me. <laughs> I made the spider web in the doorway. Mm -hmm. There it is. Uh, to make it, I just used masking tape. Uh -huh. Right. And here's the key thing: the sticky side is facing towards us. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> so the sticky side is facing towards us, and the idea is we're going to use these uh, flies, kind of these flies, cotton wool balls. Right? Yeah. If you don't have these, you could try it with those like craft pom-poms. Yeah. Or you could even try it with paper if you like. That, try might, it. that might stick if you're a good aim. Yep. Um, and we are going to use our spidey sense to throw these at the web. Ah. And this is how I've turned it into a game. Okay. okay. Can you see on the door there's the different circles? Yep. So the inside level, right? The inside see, ring. See if I can point. Here we go. Look. This inside ring here, yep. five points if you stick a spider there. Okay. Okay. Here in this outside ring. Yep. Or on, or on this one, three points. All righty. Right? On the one right on the outside, or anywhere beyond that, one point. Okay. All right, then. That got feels it? like that one on the outside is harder to get, but okay, I get it. Five, yeah, three, it and one. All right, I like right. how we've got little eyes on them as well. That's very cute. They shall, look like ghosts. Shall I do this so that, hang on, let me let me stick us in here as well. Okay. All right. I'm going to, how many, uh, how many flies do we get each? Um, uh, hmm. Let's do 10 flies. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, six, seven, four, eight, four, nine, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Welcome to Let's Go Live, where Greg and Maddie can't outflies. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. Are we gonna have some music? Oh, oh, are we gonna have music? <laughs> oh, I'm excited to play the sticky spiders. Okay, I've been doing quite well at the aiming games recently. I never used to be good at these, but I think somehow you have been doing well. Okay, okay right, go on, you I'm go going first. For my first fly. Ready? I'm gonna make the Spider-Man sound effect as yeah. well. Come left, come left a bit, oh, come left a bit. You might need to come closer. Other left, other left. That's it. <laughs> we might oh, need to get no, closer. Get closer, let's okay, go closer, ready? slide in. I'm going down. Okay, right, ready? Go. Go. Oh, I missed it. No! <laughs> oh, I don't know, come on. Yes! Oh, that's five points. Oh, five points for me. Keeps going through the gap. Yes! That's three points. Oh, that's a five. Oh. So I've got eight. Yeah. No, I missed. Oh, I went through the gap. Oh, oh again. Yeah, the other one. Yes. Oh. oh, I'm going to call that through. Oh, it's no, that's fine. Technically five K. I'm on ten. You're on oh, eight. Oh no. Oh, I hit it. Oh no. Oh no, I've only got two blades left. Oh, the last one. No, no. Oh. oh. That's so not fair. That means I got fifteen. Oh, come off it. Hang on, are those two yours there as well? Oh no, that knocked off one of my fives, but that's one of yours. So you got five plus three plus one, five, six, seven, eight, you got nine and I've got 15. But that was, that's tricky because actually I hit the middle, not that I'm getting competitive or anything, <laughs> but I hit the middle a few times, they just didn't stick. So whatever, you won that one. Captain Fatball. <laughs> That's a great game. All you need is masking tape. Yeah. You've got more things. Have a go if you want. Have a go. It's a really good, uh, really that. good fun, that one. If you do have a go and you want to send us a photo, we get all the photos that we use in the show from mm -hmm. this email address, hello, let's go live at gmail.com. There we go. Um, and if you do want to send us some pictures on social media, we're there as well. So just give us a tag. These are our social media handles because ask a grown up to do it. You know, I can actually think of another superhero. Yeah. Who sort of started out as a regular guy, being like Spider-Man, but then developed superpowers. Right. Uh, I'm gonna give you a clue who it is. Yeah. Um, he's a scientist. Yeah. That's a lot of superheroes. But when he's mad, he gets really gigantic and turns green. Yeah. Do you know who it is? Mad gets big and green. It's gotta be the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, Bruce Banner. Mm -hmm. Bruce is a physicist, uh, but when one of his science experiments goes wrong, he accidentally transforms himself into Hulk, yeah. and now he basically flips backwards and forwards between yeah. like regular size science dude and huge angry green superhero. Yeah, when he gets crossing changes, um, which is kind of brilliant. Like the transformation thing is. Ow! What was that? Oh, something just hit me under the desk. He nibbled. I don't know. It's like a little kick. Ow! That was that's, painful. That's really weird. Do you know what that was? Ah! Oh, got me. What on earth is that? I'm gonna go have a look. Hang on, I think somebody's trying to get our attention. One moment. What? Are you, what? What? Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> oh no! Hang on. Is that Dave? Is that <laughs> Dave? Is that Super Dave? 
Is that super Dave? What, Hang what on, shall I show you on the What show happened you on the to Dave? Camera? Hang on. Look at, look at little, sweet little... I think what? Dave might have shrunk. What are... Okay, what has been going on here? Um, For anyone new here, Dave is our Let's Go Live mascot and... Someone has clearly been playing around in their secret superhero hideout. Yeah, and I has think accidentally so. shot themselves. Okay, what we're gonna do is absolutely tiny, Dave. Have you got any ideas? Super Actually, I have got an idea. Of course, you have. Um, how about this? This is a secret super size potion that has this magic power, the special superpower to make things grow bigger. Thank goodness you've got that to hand. Okay, all Should right. Let's see if it works. Well, let's. Okay. Bye, little Dave. Bye, super tiny Dave. Bye, super tiny, okay. super Dave. All right, wish me luck. Okay, all right. Good luck. Okay. Right. So, okay, right. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This Just is pour that on. kind of like pour a Hulk potion. You ready? Yeah, okay, yeah. You're like a Hulk bear, Dave, right? Because it got big. It's like, right, it went from little to like Hulk bear. Goodness me, Hulk bear. Can I, can I take, wow. can I take the Dave, right, Dave? Super Dave. Oh, I'm, Dave. I'm glad to have him back. No, how on earth did that, that work? Well, I couldn't possibly tell you how the super size secret potion works. You know, trade okay. secrets and trade, everything. Yeah, yeah, trade but yeah. we can show you a different way to make your own Hulk bears at home. Would you like that? I would love to see that. Would you like that? I'm sure you'd like that. Okay, let's do it. Okay, well, you'll be pleased to know that to make your own Hulk bears, you are going to need some gummy bear sweeties. Can I get a little, uh, a little shot of sweets? Yeah, there they are. There Hang they on. Are. Let me zoom How in. How about that? Look how tiny they are! <laughs> really um, and also, they're yeah. sweets, so is it alright uh, if no, I... No, not yet. <laughs> not yet, you can eat them later. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> <laughs> alright, um, so as you can see at the moment, our gummy bears, they're super, super tiny. You know what, they're not. What, they're not? Hulk bears! <laughs> they're not Hulk bears at all. But we have found a way that we can turn these into Hulk bears. Hulk bears! With another special liquid and a scientific process. I like science. Called osmosis. Okay, how does this work? Mm, okay, so this is how it works. What I've got here is water. Yes. That's all it is. And I'm going to put one of the Hulk bears, yes. well, the little gummy bears, <laughs> yeah. into the water and leave it. Okay. What I want you to do at home is predict. If I was to do that and I was to leave the gummy bear in the water, what do you think will happen to it? Okay. Okay, so make your predictions. I've just put the little gummy bear in the water there. Yep. So we can see that nothing happens immediately, How right? How long are we going to leave it in there for? Well, that's up to you. You should try this experiment at home. But... We've actually, there are two that we've made earlier. And first of all, this is a bear that we left for 12 hours. So, we put this in sort of last night, and I'm going to just spoon out the bear. Come on, little buddy. And I'm going to put it side by side with the original bear so you can see what has changed. <gasps> there you go. Well, that's much bigger. Isn't it? Much bigger. Okay, so that was after... 12 hours. Yep, that uh, is your 12 hour. But we've got one from even longer. This one is... 24 hours. Right, so actually, this time yesterday we prepped this one. There's something else that's happened that you might be able to oh, see. Oh, cool! I don't know if you can see this, it's like but look. It's floating in the middle. It's almost suspended in mid in mid water. It reminds me of our density column that we made in Mini Makers. Yeah, look I'm that up. That. Why would this bear be floating in the middle of the water? Okay, let's, let's fish... I'm sp out. spooning this bear out right. and putting it side by side again. There we go. Oh, it's even bigger. What have we made? Hulk bear! <laughs> <laughs> Look at yeah. that. Isn't that That's great? awesome. Now, so, this is actually talk us through happened. it. Right, so this has actually happened because of something called osmosis. So let's bear in mind that the gummy bears, they are made of sugar. Yep. They're made of something called gelatin mm -hmm. and a very, very small amount of water. Okay, that's important. But then we put these in cups where they were absolutely surrounded by lots of water. Yeah. The skin on a gummy bear 
isn't actually waterproof. It's actually got lots of very, very tiny microscopic holes that we can't see in it. And those holes let water molecules move through through that skin. Got it, from outside yeah. in. Yeah, but yeah. because in there yeah. isn't very much, because there is less water inside the gummy bear, yeah. the water molecules will move from the cup. Where there's loads of water. Yeah, where there's lots of water, into the bear where there are less water molecules. Got it. Right, and so, that so is from more called... to less, osmosis. Osmosis, yeah right. it is. Um, you know what I call it? What's that? Tasty. Can I? Yeah. Which one are you going to okay. eat? Okay, okay. Right. You're going to do it? First, we should say it's a little bit like a sponge. It is, it right? just it allows it to kind of, um, and, and also we've got this idea, you could turn this into a full investigation, a full yes. science experiment, right? Mm -hmm. Get a whole bunch of the same gummy bears yeah, and then put them in different containers of water. Mm -hmm. Try them firstly for different amounts of time, but also you could try different types of water. You could add sugar to some of them. Yeah, try adding a lot of sugar right? and see what happens. You could try salt in one of them. Mm. You could try hot water, ice water. Just change one thing each time and write it down and record your results. And then you get sweets at the end. Go on, you can actually eat one now. Can I actually eat one? Yeah, you're going to eat one of the Hulk bears. Yeah, can I eat the They're probably going to be quite squishy. Here you go, I'll eat this one. Eat you're this going one. for a 12 hour. Yeah. I'm going for a 24 hour no, Hulk bear. No, but the reason I didn't eat that is because we might want to take a picture <laughs> of the Hulk. That's a good point. Okay, good point. Oh, look, it's broken in two. Has it? Yeah. Okay, oh, no, you just almost. eat it. Just don't okay. gobble it. Juicy? Really juicy? Hulk bear. <laughs> is, it, is it all right? I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's quite wet and almost diluted. Well, that would make sense. Because Funny that. Because it's got more water in it. But I like that it's a bigger bite. Okay. All right, it makes it more satisfying in a way. <sighs> so there you have it, DIY Hulk Bruce. Give it a try. And next time you have sweets as a special treat, um, you know, why not take some photos of your experiment? You can always ask a grown up to send them to us using our email address. Yes, you sure can. Or indeed, Onwards. our social media. Oh, you should, know we, what? should we pause and have a look at their superpowers? Yeah, what are your superpowers? Okay, we have loads of people uh, sending superpowers. Lots of people say their power would be to fly. Classic. That's coming up. Uh, what else have we got, Matt? Uh, Olivia's superpower would be to talk to animals. Oh, oh that yeah. would be a dream. Joel says his would be telekinesis, moving things with the mind. Yes, Dylan says the power of lightning. <laughs> yeah, like thought. Uh, Summer would have super speed and sparkle power. Rosie would have moon wings to fly to the moon. That's gorgeous. Jonathan wouldn't bother flying, he'd just teleport. Oh, Boom, somewhere else. That's for the environment. Uh, Jacob yeah. is biscuit boy and can shoot biscuit crumbs from his hands. Shoot them this way, Jacob. And shoot them this way. Olivia is octopus girl and she can shoot ink from her eyes. Love it. <laughs> uh, also, we've got Eleanor who would, have, who would have super flash speed. We've got super seren. Seren means star in Welsh, so she would control the stars. That is a lovely name. Love that. Um, and who do we have? We have um, another Eleanor who would have super flash speed. Flash yeah. And Eleanor. Willow's fire girl. Uh, she would turn into an eagle and turn things to fire with her eyes. And we do have to say as well, mm. go on, just that lots of people guessed correctly yeah. that, the, uh, that the gummy bear would grow. So well done if you've made that prediction. I love how superpowers mm. basically bend science. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they like take the laws of science and they push them into sci-fi, science fiction. Mm -hmm. Because here, right, on planet Earth, uh, science, I guess everywhere, <laughs> in science we say there are a lot of different types of energy. Okay, we've talked about a bunch of these before and Let's Go Live. Uh, you've got light energy, you've got sound energy, you've got movement energy, what we call kinetic. Uh, you've got heat energy or mm -hmm. thermal energy. Uh, you can store it, that's potential. But the key is that in science, right, you can't just create or destroy energy. What you do is you change it from one type into another. Okay. But in science fiction, in science fi, in sci-fi, in the world of superheroes, yeah. yeah, you can do whatever you like with energy. Okay, so in the real world, you can't just make energy. Energy. It always changes from one Which? side. Which? Can you can you hear? Can you hear that? I, I I believe I believe that's a quiz. All right, everybody, it's quiz time. You know what that means? Do the quiz dance. Do the quiz Make dance. Make it up like a superhero. Hop it. Hop it. Hop it. Hop it. Flying Super Dave. Hop it. 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 That's enough of that. That's enough of that. We've got an idea for a quiz. What is it, Mads? Yeah, we already know that Thor can make and control electrical energy. He uses it to create lightning with his hammer. 
And there on the right hand side, you've also got Storm ah. from uh, the X Men series. Yeah. Yeah, she uses electrical energy to change the weather. So, what we're going to do for this quiz is we are going to describe some superheroes for you. You might know some of them, you might not know others, but we want you to guess on those descriptions what type of energy they have the power to make mm. and control. Uh, we're going to give you a couple of choices, but so all you need to do is pick the one that you think is right. Okay. All right. First one. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Here come two superheroes. You've got Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> and you've also got another hero called Banshee. And they can both scream really loudly, right? And their screams produce bursts of energies that knock out baddies and can even make tidal waves. So what type of energy are they making? Uh, is it sound energy or light energy? Mm, what's their superpower? Well, they make lots of noise. So the answer is sound energy. <laughs> Okay, cool. Got well it. done if you got that one correct. Okay, We're off. We're off. next one. Here we have Adie Okonokwa, who is also known as Oya, and she can change the temperatures around her, making fire and also turning things into ice. And you might recognize Frozone there from The Incredibles. He has a similar power and can make ice burst out of his fingers and freeze just about anything. So, do you think that those two superheroes can control mm. thermal energy? Or chemical energy. Ooh, thermal energy. Which is the or main chemical one? Chemical energy, yeah, fair. Which is the main one? The mm. answer is. They both control heat. Yes. So the answer we're looking for is thermal energy. Here we yeah. go. Well done if you got that one right, if you were thinking like we did. Okay, we've got two more for you. Mm -hmm. uh, how about this one? Elastigirl on the right hand side from uh, Incredibles, Incredibles yeah. of course. And you've also got Elongated Man. What names? They can stretch, <laughs> they can flatten, they can change their shape of their whole bodies. And of course, they can bounce back to their original form. Mm -hmm. So do they master elastic energy or electrical energy? What do you think? The answer is... It's elastic energy. This is the energy that gets stored up in things when they get squashed and squished and stretched. Yeah. Boing. Yeah, like when we make our uh, our flingers, our fact bomb flingers with elastic bands. We're using that there. Last okay. one. Yeah, last one. Here we have Moonstone. Uh, she is able to control a type of energy that lets her make things heavier and then lighter. This gives her the power to fly. And then next to her, we've got the Silver Surfer. And they, can, they can also fly thanks to a cosmic surfboard. Cosmic surfboard. Okay, so they both have the power of flight. Um, but can they control nuclear energy or gravitational energy? This is Ooh. a tricky one. The answer is... Gravity. Yeah. Okay, so gravity is a force, but you explain it. Yeah, so gravity itself is a force. Right. But when you lift something up, it gains what we call gravitational potential uh, energy. Yeah. Right? So it gains this energy such that if you let go of it, the gravity then pulls that force, pulls it down to the ground, and that gets turns into movement, kinetic energy. So really, they're controlling, they like, can fight against gravity, they can yeah. build up gravitational potential energy and use it very well. So there you go. Energy, it's, it's complicated, but extremely cool. And that's how some of our favourite superheroes master those energies. And you lot have mastered energy as well, because you have done so, so well. So many of you given the right answers. Loads of people saying sound, loads of people saying thermal, loads of people saying gravitation. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, everybody. Vanessa Hart there got it correct. Um, who else do we have? It's AJ's birthday as well today. Paul McDonald. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, right then. Sorry, I was trying to get my birthday sound to work. <laughs> wow, that was loud. <laughs> Crikey, that was, that was unexpected. You know what? Yeah. Of all the superpowers, mm -hmm. I also think flying would be the Well, best. apparently most of our audience agree with you. Yeah. And the Silver Surfer and Moonstone, they're not the only superheroes no. that can fly. You're probably quite familiar with Superman or maybe even Captain Marvel. She's possibly the most powerful superhero of all ever time, maybe. Here's the thing. Look, we might not have the power of flight, no. but we can definitely make it look like we are flying. Yes, okay. <laughs> have a look at this. <gasps> what? What? Your wow. alter ego, Agent Curious, is flying? Yes! Would you look at that? How did you do that? And hang on, I like the look of this cool guy who seems to be pulling some mid-air moves. <laughs> 
look at that. There you go. Those were our superhero alter egos, Agent Curious and Captain Fact Bomb. If you are wondering how on earth we did that, well, here's a little time-lapse sped up video and we'll tell you more about it afterwards. <laughs> So how we did it, we just found ourselves a big blue sheet, a tarpaulin that we had in the shed and then we laid it out on the ground and then we created a scene using sort of different craft materials. Uh, we had this fluffy stuff that we get uh, weekly. Deliveried. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, these were just cardboard boxes that we had from some, from some leftover packaging and I just made them look like buildings. And then we laid them out and then Greg sort of got up on the ladders. He was able to make, take a picture looking down and then sort of like position me to make it look like I was flying in mid air. So that's Who how goes, we did it. Should we have another look at you want another one of you flying? They're, oh look, you're looking down at the people. Oh, look at that. They look so small. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a big blue sheet, a tarp like we had a tarpaulin, you could use a bed sheet. It could be white as well. I think it doesn't have to be blue. It could be yeah. nighttime. Ooh, yeah. yeah, put it's some just stars. Big bags. Yeah. yeah, and also like we uh, were able to do it in a garden. If you've not got a garden, you could do it in the lounge, on the floor, in the kitchen, on the floor, and even if you ha only have a little amount of space available, then like even a table, you could set up a mini version. Yeah, and, and then take a photo down. And you do it for a teddy. Use your teddies. Use your teddies. If you don't have a lot of space, use your teddies. Or just try it for your teddies anyway. Which has given me a good idea for an awkward selfie. I see where you're going with we this. We have our props here that we use to take our flying photo. Uh, so why don't we sort of set up our own little scene. Okay, all right. We've got one here. And then, all right, so the awkward <laughs> selfie is when we give you the chance to grab somebody with a camera and take a picture with us. And then we can all share it online. Okay, I've got my cloud. Hang on, oh, I'm, I'm going to make it look like... Super Dave is flying. Sorry. Oh, there! Oh, How about there! that? Nice! Okay, there you go. Uh, I'll okay. hold this. That's so holding behind here. the building. There Do you want go. me to hold? Have you got Dave? Yeah, I think. I've got a black arm. I might be able to hide my arm. Oh, Look. this is so good. It's a t shirt. How good are these? Hang on, okay. I can just hide, my, hide it behind my arm. I want to see you, though. Look at your, look at your face. You Hang on. Uh, I'll get rid of the cloud. Oh, no, I'll put the cloud here. There you go. If I move it forward. No, okay, sorry, nice. Perfect. Got it. Okay. All right. Yes. Three. This is a very awkward selfie. Okay. Oh, hang on. There. Perfect. Three. Two, one. It's the awkward selfie. <laughs> Did it work? Oh no, you can see my hand. Okay, one more. And my arm. It's so hard. This is really awkward. So hard. So awkward. Oh, what can I do? Go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I hope you, you lot got will that. have more time to finesse yes. and perfect the picture. But please, if you do have a go at making your own flying photos or illusion photos, then we would love to see them. You know what to do. Ask a grown-up to send us an email. Because be creative. Be creative. Press the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, our next show is Friday morning at 11 o'clock. That's our final show in Superhero Science Week. And we want your help for it, please. Yeah, our Friday episode is all about real life superheroes. So we want to know who your real life superhero is. Yeah, it could be, uh, you know, not all superheroes wear capes. No. Right, that's the thing. So maybe your superhero is someone you look up to, mm -hmm. like a teacher. Uh, maybe it's someone who you know is working really hard at the moment to help people. Yeah, maybe it's someone who's really brave or someone who has just uh, faced a challenge and they've come out smiling. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, mm. if you uh, do have someone, we'd love you to send us uh, who they are, yeah. why they've been great. Just really quick, mm -hmm. maybe a quick photo or with a them. Photo, or even a little video, a really short little video of you telling us who your real life superhero is. And then as always, just send them to the email address. Uh, just use the subject heading, my real life superhero. Was oh, that the subject heading, my real life superhero? That would do, that would help us find That's them, wouldn't it? Idea. That would really help. It's almost like we get hundreds of emails. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, thank you very much for doing that. Uh, but before we say goodbye to you in the live chat, let's take another look at some more of your superhero makes. Videos first. How about oh, that? Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, we've got a video of Emily, aka Stretchy Girl, who made her own launcher. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Yeah.
Nice, using a little target on the window there. And here we've got Toby and Ella too. Uh, Toby, Toby made a Lego version of a launcher. Very good idea. This is a great idea. Mm. I'm Maddie and Greg. I, my name is Tinkering Toby. I made this crossbow out of Lego, inspired by Greg's design. Go on. Go on. Oh, hey! That's Yay! Well done, Tinker that and Toby. That's brilliant. That's a great Absolutely name. Absolutely brilliant. Right, should we do some photos? Yes. Uh, we have Max and Lila. They made their own cotton bud launches. Here they are. Uh, we've got Polar Girl and Support Polar. That's her support dog. Look, their powers are to save the polar bears and the environment. What a good cause. Sophia is Gerbalette. Gerbalette. She, she has two pet gerbils and one of her powers is to munch, chomp and burrow through anything to catch a baddie. <laughs> we've got Grace and Charlotte. They made their teddy uh, into a superhero called Terrific Ted. And James also has teddies that he's turned into superheroes, Super Snuggles and Bunny Boy. I wonder if Terrific Ted, Super Snuggles, Bunny Boy and Super Dave could all uh, hang out together. They would save the world. <laughs> one last one then. Here's Sasha, the magician of cards. That's a cool cool superhero mm. like that very different and um, if you would like to support the show then there are a couple of ways you can do it so this is a message for any grown-ups watching we do have a coffee page set up where if you like you can buy us a coffee it's as simple as that that'll be ace thank yeah. you so much um, and we also have like a monthly uh let's go live family that's patreon where we post updates and we post coloring sheets and a few other bits and pieces like that if you are watching on youtube which you definitely are yes. um, please do click subscribe click subscribe so. <laughs> yeah have a look you'll be able to see the word subscribe if you click there you'll find out about all the let's go lives and any other videos that we put up as well yes should we do some goodbyes yeah let's do, do some it. live chat goodbyes all right gosh all right goodbye to millie and happy birthday to Millie's sister. Happy birthday! Uh, bye to Rajan and happy birthday AJ. Got that one already. Uh, bye Olivia and Jacob in Peterborough. Uh, Ari and Nadia in Watford. Goodbye. Orla in Scotland. Uh, Keisha in Leicester. Lily and Rupert. Uh, Baxter and Ralph. Goodbye. Uh, Evelyn and Timothy. Goodbye. Amazing. Alyssa. Uh, and also, uh, where did we get to? Lucy, Katie, and their That's mum. The Ollie Goodbye. and Archie and Amira as well. Ella in Whitney. Jasper Bye. and Hugo. And Brendan in Manchester. And Neville in Swindon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, we everyone. will see all of you on Friday at 11am. Until then, stay curious. Bye. Bye.